Well, the government is writing to universities in England for the second time in the last few weeks, warning them that not enough is being done to stop the rise of anti-Semitic incidents on campuses. Some pro-Palestinian students say they've also been let down by the way universities have responded to the conflict in the Middle East. Our education correspondent, Elaine Dunkley, has been talking to students to hear their experiences. We are seeing so much intimidation, so much hatred, so much abuse which Jewish students are getting. At the Union of Jewish Students, they've been inundated with incidents of anti-Semitism. There's been a significant increase in Jewish students saying they no longer feel safe at university. There are Jewish students reporting threats of physical assault. There are Jewish students who are questioning whether they should be outwardly displaying their Jewish identity. There are Jewish students who are questioning whether they should even be attending their lectures. On the phone, there are images and messages Jewish students have received. Most are too graphic to show. It's calling for violence. It's saying there should be violence towards Israelis, towards Jewish people. And again, I can imagine these poor students who are seeing these things. These postgraduate students are members of a Palestinian society in Oxford. Activism has replaced academic life. Free, free, Palestine! Free, free. They feel let down by the university and say whilst they have been offered mental health support, the conflict in Gaza has not had the same response as other wars. Uh, when Russia invaded Ukraine, the university made a clear and strong uh, statement condemning the Russian invasion of Ukraine, rightfully so. It makes us wonder when and why the university decides to act in some cases of humanitarian crisis and not in others. In a statement, the University of Oxford says it's been clear in calling for a peaceful solution for the peoples of Israel and Palestine. Universities play a critical role in encouraging debate and freedom of speech, but with a conflict where words have failed to describe the grimness or find a solution, managing discussions and demos on campuses are difficult. We want to recognise and ensure that the right for all views is, is maintained and we create a circumstance for those to be articulated. Provided it's not violating the law, it's not inciting hatred. When people put our safe space at risk, we will act. And I will do so not only to protect Jewish students, but I'll do so to protect Palestinian students. Cease fire now! Cease fire now! For some students, the war and a humanitarian crisis thousands of miles away has brought fear and anger to university life here in the UK. Elaine Dunkley, BBC News.